Hey guys, a little bit of post production here. This was filmed last week in the height of the heat, so I didn't have much chance to um, get any footage of me actually laying. Um, I've got some footage and some profile set up, some tips, some on the job tips, um, and I've got some other footage of me mixing gobble and stuff like that. But there's no actually me laying bricks, so just a little dis, you know, a little bit of disclaimer, a bit of forewarn, so a lot of check-ins. A lot of, you know, sort of build tips, a lot of, you know, how I'd go about the day and heat and stuff. A lot of tips with tubs and uh, tubs, you know, tubs versus buds, stuff like that. You know, um, so don't, so anyway, don't get me for just talking. It's just sometimes there is an opportunity to, you know, when you haven't got a lot of time or it's heat, you know, you've got a lot of time to set up for filming, so. Alright guys, um, yeah, enjoy the video. So it's 20 past 11. Not done out this morning, but uh, preparation, as you know, preparation is what makes you a lot of money. Um, it's Monday, everyone. Over to a new video. I'm still here. Twenty past eleven now. I'll show you the setup we've got for this. We're now reversing, obviously, what we did on the other side. But I'll show you a few little tips. Obviously, when with the dory blocks, with obviously profiles, you know, all these things that are going to speed you up. I don't care what everyone, anyone says. Profiles are quicker. And I'm someone who can knock corners up as fast as anyone. So uh, you know, check it out, and uh, hopefully it helps. You know, helps some of you guys out there. You know, little bits at a time. It's the little things that help, I find. So yeah. So we've obviously got a normal profile clamped on. I've got some of these, the Nielsen ones, but they're cheap. They're affordable. They're cheap, and they do the job at the end of the day. You know, there is all more expensive options out there. And they do the job, so that clamps onto one brick. You, you ideally, that's a 150 F clamp. You want a 200 with it for a bit, a bit more leeway, because then 150s only fit if it's exactly 150. And sometimes a brick can be a bit thicker, a bit thinner, and it don't fit. So, same again, same rules apply. You know, top clamp, cable profile, so we can adjust this part. You know, we're not having to loosen that clamp. We're only having to loose this this twisty mechanism here. You can manufacture these, a couple of tack welds, a couple of welds and a bit of fucking, you know, powder coated, you know, whatever, you know, steel section. Uh, away you go, so, that's on there. So we put a dory block on, but then we double wrap around these, on both these little nubs, to keep the tension. So that's tension. I will obviously tighten that, but that is, you know, when you get master using them, I've only, this is my second or third time using them. But now that is tight, so it ain't going to loosen. You know, if you only wrap it around once, it's going to keep, it's going to be loose, so now that's tight, obviously. Come down here. Come down here. Same again, you know what I mean? Tight again. And then, we ain't got a long enough, uh, we ain't got a long enough line to get around there. We've got a knot in it halfway down, but now this is here, where the fits be, if I can find one. Hold on a minute. So we go, there's a new penny comp fix, fix brick. Wait, squeaky, squeaky, squeak. So, now, obviously, now I've built this in a big rack. People tell me all the time, why are you racking back? It's priceless, so just be able to build a gable or build a back or whatever halfway. And now, this fix brick can go on. I've tensioned the line, banged it into a brick, I couldn't reach the other corner. But now, fix brick all the way up, all the way up your rack. You know, if I need a bit of tension, for instance, because I can't pull it, I don't want to be going over there and hammering it. You know, a bit of tension, wrap it round, away you go. But yeah, sorry, if I'd actually used it right. But you know what I mean, I've only got one hand so I can't. It's just price, you know. Stuff like this creates what could have been a problem, easy. And then that's made its money there. That's made its money, it's fixed, it's made its money in two minutes. God, I was dying in the heat, so we'll give it a good knock up. Paddle mixer. Dean's has arrived, mine hasn't yet. So we're gonna get that, have a go with that as soon as it arrives. So, you know, it's too warm really and I shouldn't be starting to work, but, you know, I've met me some poly, but I'm gonna have a go for an hour, till half 12, one-ish. Um, I've also been looking at, you know, other, I've also, I'm using tubs as you know, I'm looking at other ways to keep the sun off of us, so, you know, check out for future videos, I've got some, I'm trying to do stuff no one else is doing, you know what I mean? Not, uh, not to just do it for the sake of that, just because I want to I want to work while it's good weather, I want to make the most of it, you know, people have always said bricklaying, it's a job, it's fucking seasonal, it's not. 
do it all times of the, all times of the year. You just gotta be smart about it. You know, Dean always wants a wage. I always want a wage. And this is our these little techniques, tips. We're all gonna be able to able to make your wage year round. Never no bad days, that's what we want. We don't want any bad days. It's unavoidable sometimes, but we're trying to offset that with all these different methods so we're gonna make enough money so when we get to winter you're not gonna have to sweat it put a bit in your savings account you know what I mean I obviously Collison's the king at savings account but I'm not that's why I need to learn you know when as much as everyone gets jealous of like bricklayers who can lay over a thousand bricks a day you know a lot of jealousy out there there's people with a skill who can't can't do it but Collison says it in his videos so I'm referencing him because he's the biggest, he's the best best bricklayer on YouTube, speed wise, and he can do neat stuff as well. Because he can do neat stuff as, as good as anyone. And people don't want to admit it because they're too fucking, you know, get mardy on, fucking jealous. And, you know, what he says in his videos, fucking save, savings account, save your fucking money when you're making all this money in summer. And fucking save it for winter, so when it's fucking banging it down and you've got no way of making a fucking wage, got some to fucking see you through you know so what you have a couple of bad weeks fuck it get it in savings account like that's the biggest tip I could give for young young lads obviously you know I'm, I've got a family got bills out my fucking arse you know but I'm still taking note you know savings savings where I can you know what I mean so you know, just a bit of fucking my two pence for people there but yeah anyway mate I best crack on see you in a bit so, it is 20 past 1, it's getting fucking the hottest it's going to be today and, you know, I'm going right steady. You know, you see how quick we can, I can lay, you know, I'm on a flat bed with a motor already laid, I can lay like 13, 14 bricks a minute, like I was on YouTube, well, on Instagram, sorry, with a let, you know, put bricks down, I'll have a rate. Dean's just saying how he went to bring us some water, we underestimated how much water we need, so. Fill these tubs up once. I've laid just shy of 200 bricks. That's 140 quid. Got about 60 quid a day work, cutting up three quarters. So that's 200 quid. That pays me 100 quid, Dean 100 quid. So I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. We've got all profiles set. Uh, so tomorrow, uh, not tomorrow, tomorrow will be another steady day. Maybe only 100 quid, but so what? You're going to come in and earn 100 quid. Same as your labourer. He's happy. I'm happy. You know what I mean? You know, it, there's days where I'll earn 700. Um, you know, you've got to take, you know, you've got to be respectful of people who work for you. You know what I mean? You've got to be respectful and, you know, understand they need a wage. You know, can't just think about yourself. That's what, that's in business, you know. Business, it's not always about making money for your sen greedily, you know, and, you know, and leaving people high and dry. Just is what it is, you know. People fucking there's not many people like me who have that way of thinking. I just didn't. That's why I'm me, and I've always been like me. And people over the years have took me kindness, and you know, you know, took it for weakness. But it's not, you know. You can learn to be kind, you know. You know when it counts, and then to who it counts for. You know what I mean? And then there's assholes. You know, I come across them every day. I get people, you know, are jealous, picking fault with me work. You know, trying to have digs at me. You know, other, you know, there's other big lane gangs who, who come and see what you do and they'll instantly go, oh, greedy bastard, this, this and that, greedy bastard, this, this, that. No, but what I'm out here doing is different to everyone else is doing. You know, I'm relaxed. You know, I'm in this heat, 34 degrees now probably, maybe more, maybe six, maybe 36. I've got an hat on. I know it looks a bit daft, but it's protecting me sen. I've got shit tons of sun cream on. I've got skimpy clothes. I'm shedding the heat when I can. I'm working relaxed. I'm not using any extra movement. Um, you know, I'm doing everything optimally to where I can just work steady, where I can enjoy my time here. I don't have to rush, I don't have to stress. A lot of, a lot of bricklayers, a lot of gangs, rushing around, high stress environment, high anxiety ridden environment. You don't need it. Just relax. People don't want to talk about it. There's, there's guys on YouTube who are out there saying, telling you how to do this, and you can see they're rushing about anxiety ridden you know stress ridden just just fucking let all that go and just just you know be neat do your job well you know do your job accurate be organized and you'll get fucking more work done than you'll ever believe you'll be faster than you ever believe yeah there's hand speed yeah there's time on the trowel as an effect you know 
not everyone moves on as quick as I do with a trowel, but I'm not using a big trowel, I'm using a seven inch trowel, you know. Yeah. Pick it up for you. Seven inch. You know. And that's how you move your hands quick with a small trowel. Nine inch. You start at nine, move down to seven. Yeah, check out what we're doing. So, same again, we've got ready mix, but we've knocked it up today, it was solid. Put about a good little tub worth of water in it, you know, it's not, not ideal, it'll weaken the mix a bit. But the gobble is still workable, it's been in the tubs a couple hours. We were late starting, I had to deal with someone, and uh, you know, it delayed me an hour. But, is what it is, you know what I mean? Fucking tubs, you can't, you know, I know a lot of guys out there. See me using tubs in a seven inch trowel. I know you've bought hundreds of pounds worth of stands, hundreds of pounds worth of gator boards, but get a tapered bin, 12 quid, get a few of them, I don't know, buy three, you know, 30 odd quid, buy a couple of these, you know, 15 quid, three, three of them for 15 quid, six quid a piece, whatever, have a go, and then tell me, it's not easier, tell me, you know, you're not making uh, your life easier there and if you're making life easier and it's easier you'll be doing it faster and making more money so yeah, yeah. i'm gonna use just this gobble and get off you know let's get going right that's it quarter to ten to two heat at day wages are covered and uh, we're off on Dean's just finishing it pointing now right i'm just gonna get everything ready down ladder and uh, yeah it's even too hot for me right see you in a bit Mm. Checking in, hottest day here. Five past six, we're setting off in a minute. What the fuck do the rest of the Britlane gangs in the fucking country get up for this time for? Six o'clock is normal time. Most gangs set off for like quarter past six, you get there, you know, like seven or, you know, even earlier. What the fuck? Fuck everyone, this is fucking like devastating on the sleep deprivation. I went, I went to bed about half two, because that's what time I think I went to bed in the heat. It's just fucking not worth it, guys. Just fuck out of sleeping. You'll feel better, your life will feel better. You know, fuck that. Oh my god, I feel like fucking topping this end. Fucking... Right, just try to get some work done. Right, it's Tuesday and it's hot. We're done. Half twelve. Uh, we got about another count up. Two, three, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve times forty. Four hundred, four hundred and eighty. About five hundred bits. All in all. Um, pretty good. Pretty good day there. A good half a day, as I said, but you know, check it out. So yeah, all that's down, all windows are set. I fucked it up the other day and set windows backwards. That's why the block work is nothing reminiscent to where the windows should be. Um, apart from that one. So apart from this part, um, the windows are all uh, the block work. Obviously, is different. So I put. I've put a course of block too high on some areas, so I'm just going to have to chip it out with circular saw. Um, but yeah, it's good enough. Fuck it. Um, so basically tomorrow, back to normal temperature. Uh, this racks back now. That's That expansion now stops, so now we'll be racking back up there. Um, and this can go up another uh, 10 course, because uh, tomorrow I'll... All windows are basically set now, so in the morning I'll fix break these soldiers on, I'll dean loads up. So I'll do them soldiers with a tub, them soldiers, leave them little windows to last, and um, i focus on this tomorrow, and get this fucking gable smashed in, and that'll be a day, that'll be a day tomorrow, so... Hey guys, see you next uh, clip. Six minutes! Yeah. I need some more water in that. Yeah. No double drive today. That's stiff in your gun though. This is when you put it back in the day.
up the solid tub. Four minutes no effort. There we go. So it's now 11 o'clock, I've not been doing any filming the last couple of days, it's been hot. It's been too hard, um, too hard work to be, you know, stopping and filming. But we're on this gable now, uh, another identical length, 30 bit gable, 660 bit to like 22 quarter height. I'm going to show you the uh, setup we've got again, another reason. Um, so yeah, so that's up now, uh, you, you know. That move, the top comp is superior really at the moment, it's, it do not move. Uh, I'm using little bottom comps at the moment, look at that, you're saving some space, 200, 150 F comp. And Dean's preloaded this, this has been sat there, you know, for an hour about, you know, half an hour-ish. But we just drizzle some water on top of them tubs, you know. People have been arguing with me about gator boards in the comments saying that it don't go off on gate balls. If it is exposed in this heat, it goes off. It doesn't matter what it's sat on, your gobble will go stiff. It does not matter if it's sat on, you know, if you put a board down and lay a bit of damp over it, some, you know, 600 damp, you're getting the same as a gate board, effectively. Obviously, you ideally will not want black because that soaks the heat up, but, you know, the, the tubs, are, the, the protecting your gobble from the elements, and you're also, they're sitting in their own moisture like they would in the tub and then obviously people say what about winter well by winter we'll be on silo and you know silo doesn't have a retarder uh, you know a retarder in to you know stop the chemical reaction so everyone knows if you put some nice wet silo silo mix that say you're doing some patching with it'll stay wet for for hours in a gorilla tub uh, you know and period and they're so easy to knock up as well even if someone says oh the last bit at the bottom you know you can't get it out you can you know get to the bottom might need a bit of drizzle on it for one of your tenders laborers improvers whatever who's helping you and then once you've mixed it about with the towel setter still an english style trowel just smaller then you empty that empty gorilla tub has the few dregs in into the into your one next to it that which hopefully isn't as empty and you refill it you know so it's just summer you know I don't like to, you know, a lot of guys have spent fucking hundreds on, you know, 50 quid for a, 50, 60 quid for a, a stand, rough neck stands, there's, there's cheap ones out there, but, the, you know, some of the stands are either 750, which is too high, or the 450, which is too low, 600 is the perfect height you want, you know, you're not, in, in too high up to where you're straining your and in too low uh, to where you're bending, so, you know, I know everyone's spent fucking hundreds 500 quid on a full motorboard setup, you know. So you so you have 10 stands. Ten, this is this is a normal. This is a small gable, six stands, but you could easily have 10. 10 stands at 50 quid a stand, you know. 500 quid there. So you have five boards. 30 quid a board now. You know, 150 quid. Times up, that's 300. That's 800 quid. If you want stuff costs. That set up there off eBay, I think I got them for about seven quid. And they might have gone up a bit with inflation, but say eight quid. Say you pay eight quid for one of them. Maybe say, say you pay eight quid and, and twelve quid. Twenty quid, they're twelve fifty a bin. Twenty quid a setup. You know, that's you add a backboard and stand together. Fifty quid foot stand, thirty quid foot board, eighty. Paying a quarter of the price. It's a quarter of the price for a uh, I would think a superior setup. Yeah, you're limited to using an 8 inch or a 7 inch trowel. But I reckon if you could, if you get 9 inch filly, and you cut the handle down to a little stubby one, you can see that, you can see there where I'm rolling, there's a good couple of inches of room there in this big tub. There's a couple of inches where you could get a bigger trowel if you wanted. And I'm going to experiment with that soon. Stay tuned, guys. Hey guys, a little bit of a disclaimer so people don't get the wrong idea. I'm not hating on stands and boards, you know, uh, especially the you know the plastic ones. I've used them before; they, they are pretty cool, you know, they do work. But all I'm saying is for you know for the app for when you're using little trowels like I do, and you're working in really hot weather, tubs are very much superior in that situation. Um, obviously, if you don't use a small trowel and you're working the heat. 
you can't, you know, if you're using a big trial, you can't use tub, so you have to use gator boards, so they're your next, next best option. You know, same again in winter, probably the gator boards are going to be superior to tubs, but I haven't tested it, so I'm not making any claims that I haven't already tested. So yeah, we're all disclaimer there, guys. You know, boards and boards, boards and stands for big trowels, tubs and bins for little trowels. All right, guys. Let's see you in the next clip. Well set, set, ready to go. You go, Dean. While I start doing intro, outro, whatever show it is. I hope everyone likes the new intros. Anyway, I didn't mention. I've seen the last few videos. I do little intros now. Um, yeah, twenty past eleven. Um, Six hundred and sixty break. We're gonna do it in two hours. It's not a challenge. We're just going steady. Um, but it's just showing you the benefits of tubs. Dean's laying as well, so we can't really, you know, it's no challenge, but just, you know, Dean will put some down, I'll put some down. He's doing about eight breaks to my 22. We, we, we uh, you know, we sort of calculated the other day, and he's been doing it eight months. You know, it's me that's just sort of proof. He's only laying to line, he doesn't know how to set anything out. He, you know, he's doing freehand, that's so why he's not doing much freehand at all. Um, obviously it's mainly tendering, but this is what happens when you get someone who you are built in still confidence, you know, you show them the right way to do it, pick it up fucking so quick. It took me to get to his level about three years, so it just shows being taught the right way matters. Um, and it, you know, it makes you get more bricks down, earn more money. More I earn, more he earns, fucking simple. Right, see you in the next clip. So there it is, ready, we're all set, ready to go, got water, ready to knock his tubs up when we need, it's hot, it's 23, what is it, 25 degrees Dean? Right, see you in a couple hours, so 20 past 11, 20 past 1 we want this done, well, that's what I reckon we can do, it's a bit of a challenge, let's, uh, let's have a go. So I said it was going to take us uh, two hours for that, that gable, but it took us, took us three. Uh, it's now three o'clock, should have been twenty past one if it took us two hours. And for three hours, it should be twenty past uh, two. But I spent uh, fifteen minutes mixing gobble again because it went a bit stiff. And I spent fifteen minutes stacking bricks up and chasing port with driver. So that's what we got done, uh, check it out. There's probably over 700 brick there from, started at ten, about half nine, quarter to ten. And it's now three o'clock, so did pretty well there. So if I could replicate this every day, it'd be lovely. So theoretically, if we're having a big day, we could do two of these with the gable built corners built. That's a cut up there. I've left it well down just to give me send some clearance for my cuts. And yeah, that's the height of even if you put your level on to show you it's nice and plumb. We did it in day. Obviously, we did it in three hours. Exactly three hours of laying. Um, but I'll start it from where. It's nice and straight, it's plumb, every brick touching level. Obviously down there was someone else's work, so we've got up on that. But I started, you know, that's what it is. What it is. Sometimes you're gonna get over whatever's below, you know. It's fuck all, but, you know. All right guys, I'm gonna to point up, it's gonna give rain. Look at that dark shit over there. All right, I'll talk to you at home. See you in the next clip. <coughs> hey guys, it's, uh... Uh, what is it? It's Wednesday. No, it's Thursday. It's Thursday, um, Thursday morning. Um, I don't know what vid this will be in. Uh, but I've got nephews off at the moment, so I can't film it now, so I'm asleep. Just the bathroom plucked away. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the uh, videos. I've just put a bit of, you know, a bit of side banter into it now. Like, this is how I am at work anyway. I just used to cut a lot of that out and just have me talking over clips and I mean, at the end of the day, you know, since the Ian's been working with me. Um, you know, it's supposed to be around laughing like 11 years. You know what I mean? It's important, you know, to have a laugh. You now people don't take it seriously sometimes when I'm going, oh, I ain't very fucking do. That, that accent, that accent, if anyone's. Anyway, it's a bit of a, it's a, bit of a copy off an old comedy, um, yeah, from my area, Devil. Uh, next village from where I live, next sort of town slash village, about a mile from where I live, a couple of miles. You know, talk like that, mate. 
and uh, it's a bit of a play on you know his character, but it's funny. It's funny. That's you know how people talk. You know, end of the day, people saying for people saying in the comments, why do you swear in your head cams and stuff? Because when I'm talking on site and stuff, and I swear all the time. Just how I am. You know, I swear. I try to stop myself. I'm young and obviously. It's just where, where we're talking. And I don't try to pretend I'm swapping not. You know, rough ass bit there. End of the day. But yeah. Um, right. I'll see you next clip. I don't know which video this will be in, but. Uh, yeah, see you in the next one. So it's a bit of a uh, change of plan today. Dean's falling sick, he's not very well. Um, so I'm changing what I'm going to do today. Um, quarter past seven, uh, you know, he gets us at about seven. Oh, it's, no, it's ten past seven. So we start off now, I get tools from his. Uh, it's on way to the job, actually. This site is where he lives, is on way to the job. So it's a little bit out of his way to come for me. But um, I've got my jam jars on, aren't we? We're driving. Uh, Fucking hate driving, guys. Fucking hate driving. Struggle all the time. Yeah, I've got this. Yeah, that eye. Hmm. Yeah, that eye is lazy. It's a lazy eye, so I, my depth, width perception, and everything's just don't work. The, my eyes not working in unison, so it does me head in driving. Um, but yeah, what my plan is, because I've got no blocks loaded on the inside at plot, I've got no heavies, um, I've got back at house to load as well. Oh no, sorry, back at house is loaded, so my plan is, when we get there, it's a bit wet today, so I'm going to probably load up for a couple hours, um, I'm going to load all the gear in, fuck it, you know, um, I'm going to load all the gear in, because I just can't be asked to lay when I'm not getting fed off at time now, and then I might build the back, I might build the back steady away, but I'm just going to load up, to be honest, because when I ain't got someone feeding me gear, pointing, you know, um, you know, passing me stuff, you know, it's just a nightmare. Uh, back's already set up to lay, but I'm not feeling, I'm not feeling it, you know, you need, to, this is my mate, my mate, uh, one of my mates, my really good mates, um, he worked on his own for quite a number of years, I worked with him when I, when I was out of my time for a little bit, uh, he worked on commercial solo, he did it on the footing solo, and he even said to me the other day, he got a young lad, um, you know, 18 or whatever, just help him out, few days a week and he said you really sometimes need someone you know to just get your gobbo you know stuff like that it's, it's hard to work solo you've seen me do it you see me smash loads of working solo but it's, it's too fucking hard to do day to day basis so when you get when you got kids you got fucking you know your hot weather like this hot weather I don't have aircon in my house and we need these new houses these new Gleason houses full fill insulation you need aircon it's just you need vents putting in Aircon, the vent, the ventilation isn't amazing, you know, for new houses. It's all about these air tests, but it's not great for when you're trying to get to sleep in fucking 30 odd degree. Um, so, it's what it is, you know. I've got a monster here, it isn't as cold as I would have wanted it. I've got to put it in the fridge, <laughs> put it in the freezer for, for a little blast. But yeah, I'm going to get off now. Yeah, solo day, I forget sometimes because I pay Dean a good wage. I forget sometimes I don't have to kill myself on my own, I just need to get a turn up. Play fucking I don't know. There's about I think I'd, I looked on that back of that house and there's probably like 300 bricks to lay on the back. Um, and that I cover my wage more than enough, more than enough. 300 bricks, 210 quid. It's a day work day, a day work day. You know, loading out. So that's my plan. Load out for the first for the most of the day. So I've got two packs of two 80. 80 block packs because they're like double stacked 80 160 thermalites to load out then I've got um I and mean, I've got probably what we got 10 10 9, 9 about 100 I've got 160 heavies to load out as well I'm just gonna load them through windows uh away you go really that's my plan anyway that's what that's my plan um but we'll see we'll see what's happening I might have a clean up as well I might clean some scaffolds up uh, but yeah, my plan is pass everything through the windows because the brickwork there has gone off on that on that windowsill uh, and it's all backed up anyway. So I'm just going to stack a couple of blocks and make a platform and then stack them onto the window, walk around and do it that way. It's a little bit more lengthy, um, but I'm on my own so I'm, it's not costing me out really. It's only costing me own time. And then before I go on, when it's heat of the day, when all this rain's fucked off, it's raining at the moment, I'm going to build that back. Steady away, soldiers. I ain't got me. Uh, I need to bring medcam. Good job, I would remember. 
I'll bring my camera out and I'll get a little bit of footage. Um, or I can't, can I have SD cards for? I'm going to order an SD card when I get paid on Monday. Um, yeah, I don't know what I could hold on now, but I'm not going to. No, I'm not. I'm going to be strict. I've got to, you know, I don't want to waste money when I don't need to. Right. Yeah, anyway, guys, right, I'll get me back and I'll get to sight. Right, you'll probably see you in an hour. I bet it's half eight before I get there. Right, see you in a bit. So, I've dug out my old pair of glasses so I can see a bit better at work. I'm going back to being specky bricky. Um, yeah, I'm going to get my lenses back in. I can see a lot better. I'm not squinting as much, I don't feel as tired when I've got my lenses in. Um, so, yeah, I like this. I like this prescription better than the old one. Might get this prescription again. It feels, I feel less busy. So, yeah, because I've squinting a lot of the time at stuff because my eyesight's shit. So. I'm winning now. I've got whack a plate on. So I've been here, it's now quarter to twelve, been here since about nine o'clock. A bit later, the plate starts there to get tools, but we're having a bit of change of guard. Change of the old guard in a sense of hours. I'm no longer gonna be the after eight bricky. It's a bit of a secret there. So yeah, we're setting off at six now. Um just because it suits Dean better and the site is going to be closing at 5 um, we will have opportunities to stay later if we need to for some something finishing but I'm thinking you know I do you know if I get there at say 8 o'clock and uh, I'm leaving at 4 that's you know it's 8 hour 8 hour and a lot of the time I'm staying all five, that's nine hour. So if I get there at seven, I stay all four, it's nine hour. And I'm setting off in good time. If I want to stay till five, you know, sites up until then, I'm going to put my ten hour day in, but I'm not living at work. You know, I'm getting, you know, instead of, you know, I just get to bed a bit earlier, you know. We are lads starting to sleep a little bit more regular now. I can cope. I can tell people don't want to, you know, say, say making excuses up and whatnot, but, you know, live a week in my shoes. You know, it's just until it's possible. It wasn't always possible for a long time for me to get up early, you know. Um, I'm not going into too much detail anyway. It's not really to do with Rick Lane, but, you know, it's the reason why I didn't get there. You know, I used to get there at the site of fucking quarter seven. I used to be there, setting stuff up, loading out before everyone was there. I used to do it. But uh, when he were a baby, but really <laughs> a little, little baby. But now I can manage getting there at seven again. So after set, you know, before eight, Bricky. Yeah, but yeah. All right, we'll see how that works out for another way. So we're now on Thursday, uh, Friday tomorrow. Obviously, we're gonna work Saturday. Um, I don't, oh, oh, are we working Saturday? Do they have anyone on on a Saturday? We'll see. Mm, we'll see. We'll see if there is anyone. I have to ask about that now. Oh, they, know they might do. They might do. They might do on a Saturday. They might have a, a security man on. Oh, I don't know. I like my Saturdays though. I do like my Saturdays. Dean likes them. Um, but we'll see. Fuck it. Fuck it, don't matter. We'll see what's happening. We're going to be killing it through a week anyway. I want to really get to the point where I'm dropping Saturdays and having every Saturday off. Um, if Dean's happy with what he's earning with the extra hours, we'll be doing getting there early. And, uh, you know, he's doing well. He's doing well. Mel, bit of Mel might be coming back soon as well. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. All right, I'm going to... I've been tidying up all this morning. I altered some of the brickwork at uh, one of them windows I got set out a bit wrong I'm just getting over this half at this Arthur in the wall so both three quarters we've got over them now let's just get over the Arthur show you what I've done in a bit right so we've got over this problem here so if you ever find your sign on the plot and um, don't matter who's done it find yourself there and you find an half in the middle of the house you find an half in it 
this is how you get off of it. And the, you know, how you make money over the years is, a bit, is being able to get off of stuff easily. Um, because, you know, now I've took this plot over, you know, a uh, bit label home and a mistake, I've had to get over it, but it's cost me time, so that time is money. And that's where you make money. That's where if you can get over it quick, you know, you make money out of things that other bricklayers won't be able to get over. They just jack up or say, I'm not doing it. And then that's work that they can't do. Um, you know, so you might, people might call me daft for doing this, but, you know, you've got to get over stuff sometimes and when you get other stuff, you know, it pays, you know, people, you know, you know it can shoot you in foot because people know you're good then, and then they'll, they'll know if you, uh, you know, to send you if there's any ever a problem, but then you get saddled with stuff like this, but, you know, you're charging for it, you're charging for it, make it pay, and, um, yeah, so, check it out. So, that's half four, uh, see what I've been doing. Uh, so, I've had three bond all that out, get that half out, just... And some three quarter cut in there, loading this out, all external walls, spot work. I've got that packed to me a bit more now, left me center space to get some more gear up because I need to be loading out early tomorrow. It's be here at seven. Fuck. Um, see if Dean's back tomorrow, I hope he is, but don't blame him for taking us a week off. Fuck me, I think I need a week off. Alright, see you guys in a bit. So, um, I'm solo, just I was solo yesterday, solo today, and then I think Dean's back Monday, definite. So uh, he had a bit of food poisoning, and um, you know, it can mess people up. But anyway, um, basically, I used to work solo for like six months on price. Um, prices weren't as good then, but I used to make this when I was saving to buy this house behind me um, before my old man worked with me. I'll show you a few little tips I use. Um, I never really used to eat much at work, but the key to working on your own is to stay relaxed, not to rush. That's one thing I can easily do with, like, you know, rushing, you know, upping your hand speed a bit too quick. You know, you see me uh, chucking bricks into a line. If you're upping your tempo of your movements, it's going to tire you out quicker and over like a, you know, we're going to get to sight at probably like quarter to seven. I'm going to be working all the way to like quarter to five, so that's ten hours. Um, you know, so we're going to be working a ten hour day. We're not going to be going anywhere for a break other than maybe to the cabin. Um, I'll show you some of the things I've got. So, I always have a monster to start the day, or a coffee. This has a sort of similar amount of caffeine to a uh, coffee. I looked it up uh, to like a McDonald's coffee or something. We normally have a McDonald's coffee, me and Dean. Pot noodles, carbs carbs, just small amounts of carbs, um, sugar, I like jelly as well, jellies, I bring some jellies, I've got some little, sna little snacks like, um, sort of kid snacks, you know, midget gems, rocky bars, um, of the crisps, the salt, and plenty of water, so, you know, if that's about a six litre or something like that, that's like five litres out of a six litre, there's some more on the scaffold, but, Normally for a solo day you need at least 3 litre, depending on the weather, but it's a bit cooler today, it's only 14 degrees now, so it's perfect really. And I'm wearing the vest all day, you know, uh, vest and shorts, uh, basically shed the heat as quick as, as, quick as you can, because when you're moving gear uh, solo it's going to be taxing on your body. Um, you know, you're going to get hotter than if you have someone tendering on you. Uh, but yeah, you can make some money, you know, I've, I've made some really good, as you've seen on the garage videos a couple of weeks ago on the other side, I was smashing garages in, in a day and a half, you know, but, you know, making five, six hundred pound down my own, and, you know, you can make some fucking super money, really, if you're good enough, you've just got to, um, the working solo is, I'd say, 75% up here, mental, you know, you've got to keep yourself positive, like, I, I don't, you know, I have the YouTube channel, I don't want to go to work every day, no one does, you know, everyone, like, I'm just another bricklayer at the end of the day, you know, you know, you don't feel like wanting to lay bricks every day, I do love, I do love going to work, you know, most of the time, but, you know, I don't mind, I don't mind working solo, I, you know, I can just get into a flow, um, I've now got over all the problems, so as you know from, um, as you know from last video, or well, the last clips at the beginning of this video, um, 
basically I had to get over all the problems, take out some, uh, alter a few windows where I'd set the block round, round, cut them down, uh, rebond the front, so that took a lot of work, um, I replaced a few more ties, I cut some more one nighties to get over some other bits, you know, loads of little alterations, um, what else did I have to do, I tidied the whole pot up, because it was all, it had four days worth of work and no tidying, so I had to do that. Be loading out blocks. So this morning, the main goal is now getting towards quarter six. The main goal is to get there, get the thermal lights shifted, and I'm not going to be doing any filming as me and laying, for instance. So I've just got to get all the work done. But I know you guys. I know I get slagged up. You know, people that make fun of me for just talking at the camera. But a lot. End of the day, you can you can learn a lot by just listening and you know and and knowing what goes through someone's head on a morning when you're trying to get a lot of work done because a lot of brick layers there's just channels out there you know some particular where the brick layer you know is just like um uh, uh, and then you can't ever you know they'll never speak the mind of how they're getting on oh a cat oh it's a ginger one um They'll never you know, speak the mind of how the day is going because they probably haven't got a, a, a good enough grasp on the fucking mental state. <laughs> you know what I mean? They're just fucking working away and not actually thinking what they're doing. But when you, you know, but a lot of it is mentality. You know, production is completely down to your mental state. If you might, if your head's not in it, you'll not fucking produce. So, is what it is, guys. You know. I'm gonna get off to work. As you guys know, I don't like driving, but I've actually I'm getting my, my practice back at driving. It's getting there. I'm obviously wearing the glasses now, uh, so I'm specky bricky again. So my glasses back on. You know, I used to wear the. If you watch my first video on the channel, I'm wearing glasses. So I used to wear glasses all the time at work, but oh, I get scratched. Right. See you when I get there. I'm gonna get these blocks shifted and start building the back brickwork. So I'm here, it's 10 to 7, got here about half six, gates were open, thank god. So, um, gotta get these up ladder, fucking hate it because they put these guards on the top and you can't get gear up. Um, yeah, that's what, that's basically my gear for today. Um, yeah, best get cracking on, I don't, <laughs> I'm not looking forward to cleaning them fucking trays out. Gotta leave more than one brick. Well, one might be enough for STS, but... Yeah, let's get going. I'll uh, check in with you in a bit once I've uh, built the back. We'll link back brickwork first, so... Might hopefully do that by 9 o'clock. 10 to 9. And that's all set up for the back. I'll build it check, and then put the frames in after. Um, and then rack back at 6 for my clips. External walls loaded. Um, box here to load inside. I'm fucked. Keep going now. Right, it's uh, 5 to 10. This is what we've got done so far. I'm happy with how it's going today. Uh, I've got all my gear, bar some thermite briquettes, to basically complete the lift. Um, my goal is Monday, end of Monday, to get it finished. So they can scaffold it on Tuesday. And then I can go back up on Wednesday, Thursday. I want to like three days to square it because it's three big sides. But, I think it took me less than that, really. It's a lot of drops off. But I've got to mess around with the pad stone. I'm not putting the pad stone in straight away. Um, just because I can't be arsed to look at the drawing, really. I'm, I'm fighting to stand there for half an hour, ogling it. Build it, and then I'll come back with a pop up. Just cut the pad stone in as soon as it's lifted. I'll just jump in the house, put it on. Be a pop up, done. Fucking an hour job with that. So yeah, uh, it's a bit wet today, well, it's been spitting but it's moist in the air, check it out. So we've got two packs of Connies as you know, I've got a tub of below ground because the above ground's unusable. So as soon as I've, I've knocked that up quite a lot, but as soon as I've finished on this back brickwork, I'm leaving the, so the soldiers off so I can load in these three windows here with heavies for both sides of this uh, heavy wall. It's about 180 blocks to go in uh, and then in a layer of a pack there, I think there's eight, there's nine to 18 per layer, and there's four layers, so four, four times, four, eight, four is a 32, 72 bricks, 72 blocks per, but as long as I can get it up nine, 
um, then the then they can trad deck it. So I don't know. I don't know what the plan is. Are they going to trad deck it and scaffold it on the same day potentially? I don't know. But that's what we're trying to aim for on here. But I can do it. Normally I'd just ask someone to come with me for a, a day or so, would give me a push, but I'll piss it easily. I would. It's a big day Monday, but I'll do it. So, All right, see in a bizzle. So it's half past one. I'm gonna uh, slow down the rest of the mevies. I've done the back. Left the soldiers off. Left the soldiers off so I can load out and uh, get my bins all set up and everything for tomorrow. Might load all the gob up as well, ready for in the morning. And then I'll just attack the, attack the middle wall. Um, put that up first. And then I'll start doing the external. Um, the site's closing at three today. Um, which is, say hell, we've got enough to be honest. Done enough, I've had a count up. I've had a decent week really. What I consider decent, you know. I suppose people consider it a phenomenal week, but it's fucking just what it is. Need to be doing better. Right. In a bit. That's half two I'm done. Fucking bollocks. <laughs> Need a backup labourer. Back up. Hey. <laughs> In the bizzles. No. Oh. Saturday guys. Uh, quad seven. Probably get that normal time. Quad to eight ish again. Uh, it's, I'm going in today, it's Saturday, um, I won't like, normally do it since I'm on my own, but I want to load these blocks out. Um, I want to bang some block corners up on that middle wall. As you saw yesterday, I was absolutely fucking tapped at 2 o'clock. You know, starting at half 6, you know, you can only do like a max 8, 9 hours. That's why you guys get a bit confused with the hours I do. You know, when I'm starting at half 8, 9 o'clock, I'm able to work all 5, 6 o'clock because I'm not getting there really, whereas... You know, if you get there at half six, that's like two hours earlier than I normally do. I'm tapped out by three o'clock, you know what I mean? I can't do till like five and six there, you know. And, it, you know, early hours are what affects me more, so. But from now on, I'm going to be the before, you know, the after seven bricky, basically. We get, we're setting off at six, get there for seven. So I'll get used to this sort of time a bit more. Um... Just so we, just so we can get home at a, a proper time, so I can spend more time with Arch and stuff. You know, I'm still tired now. But I pack enough of this load out when I get there. Um, I know there's not been much Brit Lane footage, but um, you know, I'll put it in the title. You know, a little bit of progress vlog today. Um, you know, there's been obviously you've seen a couple of videos anyway with me a lot, doing a lot of tips and stuff with head cam. But I've just been busy. Um, I haven't really had time to get your productions down basically by half because I've got to load the gear twice. Is, you know, the thing of a one on one is you're picking the gear at once. You know, with a, with a, without a labour, you pick it up twice. So, and with the access I left, which is I did it completely wrong. You know, I made a, a mistake there. That slowed me back. That slowed me down by quite a few hours having to load it out. Um, through the windows, you know, there's so many things I've done different, but, you know, live and learn, you know, you don't always do things the most efficient, that's why I say to you guys on these videos, like, I'm fucking so inefficient with so much stuff, yeah, I can move my hands fast and I'm very efficient laying the brick, but my organisation's still fucking novice, still fucking novice there, so, um, right, it's a bit warmer today, but it's about 15 degrees, perfect for solo, you know, you know, you're, you're gonna get heat up straight away, so, Remove these heavies. Um, they shall fucking hate laying now. I hate, I hate, hate laying heavy blocks. I, I see why Charlie Collison hasn't made much videos. I know he was building like flats and or whatever. He was building big blocks of houses, uh, big blocks of you know flats or houses, or county blocks. Shit, son. I wouldn't like to do that job. I fucking hate concrete blocks. I do them on party walls and it makes me it makes me depressed. I mean to use them. The shit, you know, county blocks. They should just fuck them off. Don't know why party walls can't be built out of thermalite, you know. Sound sound property maybe, I like like you say, you know, I'm sure you can get sound lightweight sound blocks as well, you know, but anyway. Right, we're gonna crack on. Um hopefully when next clip you'll be seeing, um hopefully I'll have bumped out those blocks and I'll be set up ready to lay. My plan is to put four corners on 
the I'm gonna do the, obviously do the beam fill on the uh, on the middle wall, which is a fucking nightmare. And then I'm gonna put four corners up on the middle wall, and then run my first course here on both sides. Um, you know, I reckon I'll be near I'll be nearly home time by the time I've done that. So on Monday, if, you know, if Dean's back, uh, he'll let me know yet, which you know is what it is. You know, he's he's ill, he's ill. But if he's back on Monday, which I hope he is, you know, um, we can then smash middle wall in together. And then we can do the put the back window frames in, put the front window frames in, uh, just skin all the block round basically, and then um, Tuesday finish it off. You know, I'll be a little bit behind the program, but but you know, it is what it is, circumstantial. You know, but. I just smashed it with labour easily, but I need someone back up definitely. I've, I've even offered my brother, um, who works part time, semi part time, four days a week. I've even offered him like a day's work, fifteen's never in. So, um, he wants to come smash it out with me on a Saturday or something. Or anyway, right. See you in a bit. So it's uh, ten o'clock. It's getting warm now. Finally again. Getting a bit depressing. All that cloud of the day. Uh, but yeah, right, we've got all the blocks loaded uh, for middle wall. Um, basically, everything's loaded now. Dean's back Monday, I just got a text. Uh, thank God. I fucking, it's so hard, you know. You know, you don't want to. I've been doing it fucking 11 years. I've been in college learning to about Brick Lane since oh, 15. That's like 12 years. And uh, it's fucking hard on your own. You don't want to be doing it. I did it back when prices were shit for a bit. Because uh, I was making some good money. You can, you can, we can make some good money, so you just got to fucking do a day loading out a week, day and a half a week loading out in front, come in Saturday like I'm doing today. Hold that, you know, back when it was like 450, 1,500, and I needed to earn, you know, 11, 1200s a week, you know. Before I were as fast as I am now, talking four years ago. Um, you know, I was, I was fucking smashing it on my own. You know, but yeah, check it out. This is what we're doing. This is the tubs. So we've got it all loaded. We need to do beam fill for this wall. This wall is getting all insulation blown in. It should be done with party wall, but it was one of the first houses on this job. We've got fire sock in there, everything. Um, we've got half a tub, half a big tub worth in all these tubs. We've got six tubs. So now I can work. It's now 10 o'clock. Job's closing at 12. I can now work solid now. I'm a little beast. You know, people take piss out of me because I use a cheap trowel, but it's, it's 15 quid off FB tools. But it's just a bit bigger than the Marshalltown. I've not seen the W Rose. I think that's a little. That's about the same size as this. So if you want to buy a W Rose, get one. But I'll be probably that'll be my next purchase really because this is this won't last forever. It's not solid forged, as you know. RSTs aren't they're just Chinese, but. Oh, it's working. I like the handle on it as well. The handle's quite good, and it's small enough to where you don't want a big one. You know, you don't want a, almost a full-size handle in here. Because look at the space you've got there. That's what you've got. So you can't really afford to have with this weight motion. You can't really afford to have much more size than that. And the overall length of your trowel. So um, I'll keep using this, and then I'll probably go back to the Marshall Tam plastic handle because I like that one as well. Um, Marshall Town are good, good tools to be fair, all around. Um, w Rose are just a little bit dear for what they are. Um, still good, they're just a bit dearer than Marshall Town, I find. Uh, the Marshall Town trials have gone up, so we're going to start here. We've got us, it should have gone to here, that wall really, but I'll just follow where, where he's gone from. Build my stop end, and then my fire sock can be slid in there. Um, it's a bit difficult sometimes. We don't that damp it really doing out in this. It's a fire sock, so um, is what it is. It's uh, we'll start here. Using the fixed bricks again today. Um, this new one, uh, my old ones. When I first bought this, you know, it's uh, still going strong. You know what I mean? You don't need a lot of force. Them oiled up, you know. I've stood on them, abused them, they're still working mint, you know, a year and a half later. And these new ones I got, um, 
These are fantastic, they're even better. But I'm still working, I just use them both. You know, I'm only using four inch, so. Right, let's crack on. So a little tip with your beam filling as well. Um, you know, try to go off bond with your block below, because sometimes if you get a stick, it'll pull it, and then obviously reset your bond above. But try use the same material, so if you've got space for a briquette, use a Connie brick, because we're using Connie bricks and a Connie, so no mixing material there. So there's a, there's a common there, I'll use any Connie bricks like there, put a Connie brick. Um, there's some under the scaffold under the track actually, but can't really reach them, but as well. Try to look, start one side, try to look for a flush joint, and then you can use the floorboards, because the joiners are normally more fucking accurate than we are. Um, you know, there's a bit, quite a bit of go on these, but just use that as a rough guide, I've, I've got a 20mm gap all the way along. And then, when you do your other side of beam fill, this cavity is a bit large, but set your, set your, uh, you, you then you set your block to that other, to your first skin, so you're going from one side to the other. Um, but we'll, we'll slightly lean that in, get that looking nice and neat, so yeah. Right, uh, on to the next. So this is what I do, this is what I should have done in the other video. Um, got a block on it each side, fits, bricked it, away we go, um, I'll show you. I ain't got long, I've only got 25, 30 minutes for the locket site up, but uh, I've dotted that on now. That's the thing with a fixed brick. You can dot it on and it's not going to pull your block. It doesn't take a load of fucking squeezing. Um, so yeah, I can make sure that's running true. to my far side, which is now set. And I went with a bond that was right down there. I looked right down at the old cavity. I know I shouldn't do that because might not even be bond, but we can always get here and if we've got a 20, 30 mil gap, just shove that block across, boom. Re, you know, reset your corner, boom. Sorted. Corners up, bosh, I've got a profile set up for this, but with ready mix, it don't go hard enough, I don't think, to set a profile up on uh, Connie's. So yeah, I'll, uh... right, see you in the next clip. So, as well, this is something a lot of people don't talk about, but it's called the touch. Now if you've been doing like a solid 10 year on trowel, consistently no breaks, working 50 hour weeks, thick and thin, you develop summer after like 10,000 hours, sort of mastering, you know, 10 years plus, constantly working on price, on price as well, not day work, whatever, just, you'll get something called the touch, so, I've not, for instance, I've not plumbed any of these, so, I've just eyed them down, but, there you go, plumb. This one, same again. Look at that, plum. You know what I mean? Like, look at that. There's no need to move that. That's plum. That first box, plum. I bet if I put it up, there you go, plum. You know, it's something that you don't. You have to develop over years and years. People don't realise. There's not a lot of guys on YouTube who show the work close up, bed cam, because you just don't have that touch. And that's what I'm trying to instill in a lot of lads. You know, I've been doing it 12 years since I was 15, 27 now. I've got the touch. Getting the touch, just gotta keep fucking going and going, and that's how you can get that fluidity when you're laying. You see, when I've got the head cam on, see when Charlie's got his head cam on, you know, that's what makes you your money. Is, you know, as soon as you pick that up, you're losing money. As soon as you fucking pick that up, you're losing money. You need to just keep laying. Next one, next one, right? Get this fucking, get this this other course in as well. I don't know, I'm going home. I've got, I've got my money in, sorted. So I'm done today, but I fucking rushed. I rushed and I've fucking lost concentration. Never rush. Drop my fucking favourite trial down there. It's fucking there. Where the fuck is it? I can see it. I'm gonna get a rid of him. A fucking magnet. I'm knocking a block out. I'm fucking losing that bastard. Where's that? That's where your damp tray is. Right. I'm knocking a block out on Monday for that cunt. Yeah. Motherfucker. Right. <laughs> see you Monday. It's safe. My precious. So yeah, that was the video this week. Um, sorry there wasn't much or any really brick lane footage, but uh, bringing it back next week. I was just getting all my footage off my SD card this week. I'm going to format it. And now that can go back in my camera. And I can start recording some proper footage next week. Um, probably be around Wednesday, Thursday time. Maybe Friday I'll get a video out. It'll probably only be one video of next week's footage, but we'll be on a different lift and I've got some new bits of kit to show you that we've been using obviously you've seen in this video the paddle mixer um, and another 
uh, a few little bits but I've got some more kit to show you um, and coming up soon there's going to be more it's more tools that I'm using it's nothing new, it's nothing really revolutionary but it's just a different way to go about things um, and you know at the end of the day uh, you know, if one person has made a video on something it's always good to get a second opinion of the same idea and then it just sort of resonates a bit more I think that's what you guys like about my videos, I'm not necessarily doing anything brand new, I'm just doing it in a, diff in a different way and if it's if two people are doing the same thing and it's working for two people, that's that's a second opinion, that's two people's references there, so yeah, hopefully it helps, hopefully some of the things even in this video have helped you guys out. Alright guys, thanks all for watching and I'll see you, uh, see you in the next video.